I just like to look at these uh, place value spinners and I also like to acknowledge that the uh, person who taught me how to use this is George Booker, of, uh, the lead author on teaching primary mathematics now in its fifth edition. So let's just look at using one spinner first and we'll look at how we can join them together. So in this case here, basically we're spinning a number and we want children to talk and explain and read that number. So in this case it's 936. And we could ask them, uh, what's the number that's 10 more than that number? What's the number that's 10 less than that number? What's the number that's 100 less than that number? And so on. We could ask them to do some rounding. We could ask them uh, how much more to make it 1,000. All sorts of things. We could even spin two spinners and ask to find the difference between those numbers as well. So there's a whole pile of things that we can do with this. But if we want to make some links to place value, then what happens nicely is if we put two of those together, we now move out of the hundreds, tens, ones to hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, ones of thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. And you could read that number. We could ask what number is 10,000 more than that number and so on. Now we could just keep going. You can imagine how this might go. So if we look here, and we join three together, we're into hundreds of millions, tens of millions, ones of millions, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, ones of thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. And you can do the same thing again. What's the number that's 10 million more than this number and so on. Now these have been color coded to match some of the flip charts that, you, that are available on the market as well, but it does help us to explain those things.